Willie's Pictures by Anthony Brown. This book is dedicated to all the great artists who have inspired me to paint. Look out for their pictures at the back of this book. Me, Millie, Buster knows. Willie likes painting and looking at pictures. He knows that every picture tells a story. The birthday suit. <gasps> Quick, cover yourself up. My best ever sandcastle. I was so pleased with it, but I had an odd feeling that the castle was trying to warn me of something. Lots and lots and lots of dots. We gradually started to notice some very strange things in the park. The kind woman. I had been getting a bit bored with painting all that grass. Early morning dream. I'm just taking my dog for a walk. My birthday. At first I thought it was great fun, but would they ever stop? At the swimming pool. Oh no, it's the wrong changing room. Coming to life. I was just finishing this painting when I heard a small voice say, Give us a hand. The mysterious smile. Can you solve the mystery? The fruitful fishing trip. We hadn't caught anything all day and were on our way home when we cast our net for the last time. Room with a view. I had always hated looking out of that window so one morning I decided to do something about it. My nightmare! The dreadful invitation read, you are cordially invited to attend the wedding ceremony of Millie and Buster Nose. An odd day. As soon as we got there, it seemed that Millie was in a hurry to go home. I'm sorry, she said, I must fly. And she was off. Landscape with onion. We followed it for miles before we finally hunted it down. Nearly a self-portrait. Some of my friends wanted to help. The hero. I can dream, can't I? Now open the fold out pages to see the pictures that inspired Willie. Those pictures tell stories too. Try matching them with Willie's pictures and read what Willie says about them. The Arnold Feeney Marriage, painted in 1434 by Jan Van Eyck. Jan Van Eyck could make his pictures seem very real because of the way he painted detail and light and shade. Everything looks so solid. I almost feel as though I'm in the same room as these two people. Sunday afternoon in the island of La Grande Jatte, painted between 1884 to 1886 by George Surratt. When this picture was first shown, people were shocked by its new technique. The painting is made from lots of tiny dots of pure colour. I love the way it seems to shimmer. You have to stand back to see it properly. Mona Lisa, painted between about 1503 to 1506 by Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci's famous portrait of an unknown woman must have been one of his favourites. He took it everywhere with him. She has a very mysterious smile. What do you think she's smiling about? The Gleaners, painted in 1857 by Jean-Francois Millet. Jean-Francois Millet painted peasant life as it really was. Hard work. Here, three poor women collect the scant remains of the harvest after it had been reaped. The rich are far off in the background. I find it beautiful because it is so plain. The Straw Mannequin, painted between 1791 to 1792 by Francisco Goya. This is one of a group of pictures that Goya painted when he was still a young man. Although they are just playing a game, it seems a bit of a frightening one to me. Self-Portrait with Monkeys, painted in 1943 by Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo's paintings are often of herself and her own experiences. She had a difficult life. I like the way she seems to be showing a similarity between herself and the monkeys in this painting. Early Sunday Morning, painted in 1930 by Edward Hopper. 
What I like about this picture is the feeling of time standing still and how a very ordinary scene can seem so extraordinary. It feels just like a Sunday morning to me. Does it to you? St George and the Dragon painted in about 1506 by Raphael. In this painting, St George is saving the king's daughter by slaying the dragon who terrorised the city. Raphael painted more than one picture of St George being brave. Perhaps he wanted to be a hero too. I know I do. The Dog, painted between 1821 to 1823 by Francisco Goya. Goya was the court painter for the Spanish royal family. As he grew older, he painted many fantastical and frightening pictures. I love the expression on the dog's face. The Monkeys, painted in 1906 by Henri Rizzo. Henri Rizzo didn't start painting until he was 40. He taught himself. He created many simple dreamy pictures like this one. Still Life, Vase with 12 Sunflowers, painted in 1888 by Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh saw beauty in simple natural things. His pictures were not popular when he painted them, though today they are famous. Sometimes just a tiny part of the original painting shows up in Willie's work, so look carefully. The end.